I was talking with him and and uh, I'm like, hey, bro, you know what? I'm going to do a song that talks about a zombie, like like a dude that does a bunch of drugs. So they call him so, so zombie because he's always awake. He's like, you know, like always doing like bad, bad stuff. Well, ¿qué tal? Aquí nos encontramos con Danny Felix. Welcome to LA TV. Uh, un saludo. Tell us how you're doing and where we're talking to you from. Muchas gracias ahí, saludos a todos los fans y muchas gracias aquí por la oportunidad más que nada, ¿no? Estamos aquí en casita en Phoenix, Arizona. So, are you in your room actually? Yeah, I'm actually in my room. <laughs> Is that where you have your studio? That's where I have all my stuff. Yeah, I record here. I actually did my album here. I've done a, a lot of productions, yeah. Yeah, so, el título, El Genio del Corrido Tumbao. Let's talk about that. First of all, I can't really roll my R's. <laughs> you good. Uh, so, how would you actually call, uh, describe Corridos Tumbados, like in English, maybe? Well, basically, I feel like Corridos Tumbados are, uh, I mean, they have like the urban feel, which is like the lyrics, like, uh, as you would hear, like on a trap song, like in a rap song. So, that's that's what I feel that that's uh, the Corridos Tumbados, you know, like, uh, it's got that regional guitars, but it's got the lyrics that has the... the 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 trap style. Okay. Now this might be like a dumb question, but yeah. <laughs> I want to know your opinion. So in thinking about like, you know, music from like uh, Mexico and then maybe music from here, would you kind of yeah. think some similarities between country and like regional music? Because we call it regional, but is there like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, country, country like in the way that, you know, they dress cowboy and stuff and, and, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, the acoustic vaquero. guitar mm -hmm. yeah vaquero exactly and and then uh, um yeah so i mean I, I guess i guess that they do have somewhat a little bit of uh, of here and there all right well podrio tumbao is what's smacking right now is what everybody wants to hear but it's also like right. an exploration for you uh where you kind of add a little bit of like hip-hop right into the into the sound. exactly Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was it was crazy because uh, when uh, me and Nata were were uh, creating this, uh, you know, new trend because you know, like it is a trend right now. Yeah. And uh, uh, we we I told them I was like, bro, like I'm gonna do something so different that you know, like it's gonna be popping. And uh, and he was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And uh, basically, you know, he just let me do my thing in the studio. Uh, he had uh, some songs ready, somewhat ready. And, uh, and uh, um, I mean, I guess it was cool that he listened to me too. Like he made, he let me do my thing, you know? Cause uh, at first we were kind of like, you know, like, eh, you know, like he's like, no, we'll do this. And I'll be like, nah, nah, fool, let's do this, let's do that, you know? And, uh, but you know, at, at the end, uh, we both saw the great result, you know? And, and uh, you know, that's the most important thing. So how, when you tell him I'm about to do something different, how do you foreshadow that? Like you already knew what you wanted to like put in there, or like? You know, it was it was it's a weird story uh, because uh, I went into the stu and I went into the studio without hearing nothing. We had uh, no songs. Uh, he presented some songs there to me, and uh, I pretty much uh, was in charge of recording everything. You know, like because. Uh, uh, and when I mean everything, you know, like I record all the guitars and like the bass and stuff. And uh, uh, I don't know, some ideas just came out there. Like it was super natural, super easy. And then after that, you know, uh, it was Corrios uh, Tumbaos Volumen Uno. After that, it was, uh, I think it was Mi Nuevo Yo. After that, it was uh, Corazon Tumbado. And then like the style was just so, it was there like it was created already like and even now like i feel like i i can't go out of that no no more because i've done it so much i do it constantly uh, uh i mean i i do like the regional stuff too mm -hmm. but uh it's uh, it's uh, i i feel like it's really uh uh it's it's, it's like really normal now for it's, me you it's know? you it's your sound exactly yeah so you came up with that that phrase like Corrios Corrios no, no, no. Uh, the guy that came out with that phrase is not me or Nata. Is uh, this guy from uh, uh, Mexico? He's uh, Nata's friend and my friend. His name's Dan Sanchez, and uh, he's actually the one that wrote uh, "Soy el Diablo." Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a 
I'm todos andamos tumbados aquí. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, yes, you worked with a lot of artists. You helped produce, uh, uh, you know, songwriting. You play instruments. Um, but now you're coming out as a solo artist. Like, you exactly. are singing your own music. Um, yes, yes. Was that always uh, a dream or is this a new exploration as well? It, it was always a dream. You know, I, I, I never thought I was going to be a solo artist, you know, because uh, uh, when I first started to play, I played in the band with my dad. Uh, after that, you know, uh, I had the guts to uh, do my own band here in Phoenix, you know, and uh, we were popping here and stuff, you know, so we were... We were, were you uh, singing then? I was, I was singing part, part okay. there, yeah. There was me and a different singer back then. Uh, so when I went to LA, um, pretty much, uh, well, the band split up and stuff. So I, uh, I was left by myself and stuff. Uh, so I was, uh, so I got my own musicians, you know, uh, uh, we, they were uh, really, it was normal for them to, to pick up my style. So, it, you know, I, it felt, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And it, it was, it was like all perfect timing, I would say, you know, and, uh, and yeah, that's what made me go uh, uh, as a solo artist and stuff. You know, I, I ya tengo una una compañía que me respalda, que es lo más importante. Um, you know, uh, the, there's a lot of duetos that I'm doing this month of the 27. Uh, sale dueto con Abraham Vasquez. El tema se el tema se llama La Faca No La. We did we did a music video in Miami. Uh, also in December, va a salir un tema con un colombiano que se llama Matt Hunter. Se, el tema se llama Malas Decisiones. We did that in Miami too as well. And uh, that's dope, you know. And then uh, 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 in Enero, we're going to start uh, We're gonna start the year strong. And uh, we're coming out with the official al album already. You know, everybody's been waiting for it. I've been announcing it forever, you know. So what does like a day look like for you? Because I'm that's a muscle you probably have to keep tuning, you know, and you have to keep exploring to then find out more things. Your bed is yeah. right here. You're in your room. Exactly. Like, what happens? You write every day. You like hit the guitar every day. What happens? Yeah, basically, when I get an idea, if I have an idea, if I have the idea fresh, I need to record it ASAP. You know, um, that happened to me out like uh, two days ago. It was like uh, two in the morning, and um. I was asleep already and I got this idea. I woke up, I woke up and I started to record here in my room, you know, because uh, I, I just had the idea and I didn't even have lyrics. I did the lyrics as I as I went. And uh, it, it, it was, it, it's a cool song and that's, uh, I have lots, lots of plans for that song as well in the future. Do, do the beats kind of come to you first or do the lyrics? Or is it just depends? Yeah, I feel, I feel like the, like the beat, como cuando, when I saco una tonada that is like catchy, you know, um, that I feel like that's like the main thing. Because okay. uh, I mean, you could write lyrics, but sometimes people don't really pay attention to the lyrics. Sometimes I feel like that happens with a lot of songs. Uh, they like the beat, you know, they mm -hmm. like uh, what's, you know, like all the effects that you put on the song, all the the stops, you know, and it, and it comes back and all that stuff. But you know, the lyrics are important as well, you know, yeah. but it's, it's just, the same do you dance do i dance nah i think I'm, ah, i think I suck. I think i suck at dancing yeah you know what the thing is as a kid uh, uh, uh i was always uh i was always the one playing so the people would oh. dance you know so like i feel like i never learned how to dance i mean of course i mean if i'll, I'll dance a, a song here and there, but right? a little two-step exactly a little stanky leg. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious though, but that makes sense. You had the perfect excuse. You were the one playing, you know? Exactly, uh, yeah. But no, for sure, for me, I feel like the beat. Yeah, I'm like that. The beat, once I hear the beat, uh, I'm like sold to a song. Uh, but I'm a yeah. dancer, so you know that's what moves me in that way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, why. So that's my connection. What's a song dope. maybe for you when you were younger? Que así te toca en el profundo. That like we play it at two in the morning. You're like you might shed a tear. Um. See, I don't, I don't know actually because I was always, uh, I always liked a lot of songs. You know, like uh, there was points, there, there was times. I mean, when, when I would listen to songs como de los temerarios, uh, at eight Gabriel, years old, yeah, Jose Jose, que los bukis, you know, like all that stuff. So I, I actually grew up with uh, all the, the really nice and and 
uh, classic music, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and 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 I feel that that plays a big part on on my style too because uh, you know uh, when when I produce the song I I have to do like all the notes correctly like I can't I can't do the notes wrong because I mean with all the respect there there are a lot of a, a lot of a, a, a lot of players and artists out there that that they just uh, como que como que quieren sacar una la rola así and then la sacan así nomás but I, I I do hear like a lot of incorrect notes and uh, you know coming from back back in the days you know like los bookies y, 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 y artistas como Jose Jose Luis Miguel igual those were like artists that you know had to do everything the right way like the notes the right way and I feel like uh, that's the that's what uh, made me who I am because uh, you know like I can't take out a song that that has that I that I do something wrong and then you know I'm seeing it you're like detail oriented exactly yeah would you say you're a perfectionist yes totally yeah 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 because we we you know we would have we would even have issues with uh not the, like in the like like in the studio and stuff that I would be telling him no bro like you need to let me fix that and stuff and he was like no way I still ask still ask and I'm like no way no like, no, yeah, no yeah yeah so yeah so I am I am a it's a blessing and a curse yeah perfection yeah exactly all right so let's talk about this new album then which we touched on a little bit uh vuelve is the name of the yeah. album. It's your debut mm -hmm. album coming out in January. Um, yeah. What was the inspiration behind it? Do all the songs kind of continue on the same theme or what's it about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, the cool, the, the cool thing behind the, behind the, mu the music videos, I mean, uh, they all have like a connection. So uh, it's uh, Malas, Malas Decisiones, uh, which comes out in December and then that, connects to Welve and then Welve connects to a different video. So we have three videos that are somewhat connected and that's okay. super dope. Zombie is also another song that you have out. Yeah, Zombie, Zombie, uh, uh, I, I also did like about a year and a half ago. Uh, that song, uh, I was actually driving home from LA. Uh, I was with my uh, old band members actually. And then uh, I was talking with them and, and uh, I'm like, hey bro, you know what? I'm gonna do a song that talks about a zombie, like like a dude that does a bunch of drugs. So they call him so, so zombie because he's always awake. He's like, you know, like always doing like bad, bad stuff. And basically, yeah, you know, I, I came home that time and, uh, and uh, you know, I, I wrote that song and it was like supernatural, it was like super easy. All right, well, I want to know lastly, you, uh, how many songs is uh, Welve going to have? Welve is going to have if I believe correctly, it's going to have twelve. It's because I wrote a, I, yeah, it's because I did. I recorded twelve songs, and then we like added a couple here and there. But I don't know if they're gonna come out as singles. Or I don't know if they're gonna put them, you know, there. But volume I, I, I'm, one, volume two. Yeah, volume one, volume two. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna have yeah, twelve songs. Okay, all right. So from those twelve that you know, and I understand each song is like a child. Which one's your favorite? Uh, probably Vuelve for sure, I and mean, then there's a song called uh, Mal Experiencia, which uh, is una canción romántica, pero está tumbada igual. Uh, that song uh, se inclina un poquito como al, al estilo como de amor tumbado, ese estilo, you know? So that, I feel like that song is going to be fire when it comes out, and that's going to be the, the song, uh, that's going to be the music video, I mean, uh, after the, 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 the Vuelve song. Okay. Well, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Danny Felix, for being with us today here at LA TV. Hopefully, when this thing like is over, you can come to the studio and you know we can actually hear some some beats. Oh yeah, here live. That would be dope. Let's do it. Yeah.